Very good evening, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So, of course, before we show you the results of the premium group, I wanted to remind everyone that the, the past week was really one hard week for trading, especially for Forex, because of the uh, a lot of news that we had, especially about Mr. Joe Biden finally taking the presidency. And of course, even with these events, thankfully, we have made total of 411 pips of profit and i wanted you to, to look at the days uh monday was not that good day but however the rest of the days were actually really fantastic uh, as you can see uh tuesday was great and wednesday was 100 percent full green and all on all uh in profit all of the signals have reached at least take profit number two one of them also take profit number three making 100 pips of profit uh, even on Thursday was somehow it was a good day. Uh, I would say we have uh, finished as a break even. But however, Friday was also one of the greatest days as well. Only eight pips was the loss and uh, the profits was at least 130 pips of profit. So definitely, even with the hard days, we were able to make really these good profits. And I'm really proud and happy about our product. So um definitely yes we are on the right track again and thankfully forex market is wonderful again uh, if trump was saying make america great again i want to reply to trump make forex great again finally trump is out of the picture out of the sight and finally forex market is great again and i believe uh, actually i'm very excited for the upcoming days and hopefully we will make lots of profits so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there okay so before we proceed to the weekly analysis i just wanted to check something with you and actually your opinions matter um, what I noticed recently that when I'm uploading a live trading video on my channel, it barely has 1.6 or 1.5 thousand views in total. And actually, you guys have really no idea how these videos are hard for me to trade or to actu actually to record for two reasons. Number one is the stress. And this video is actually adding a lot of pressure and stress for me, especially when I'm trading the live account and I have to explain every single thing I'm doing while trading on the live account. Second thing is that these videos usually take really long time for me to record because when I am opening the trade, sometimes it takes at least one or two or three hours to finish. And I still have to stay in front of my computer just to record it and to explain to you the reason I have taken the profits. Usually when I'm stuck in the trade for a really long time and I don't see any progress, I would just close it in break even or small profit. But because I'm recording, it's just not really uh, good for me to close it. So I, I'm stick to the trade till the end. So I noticed that these videos have barely any views. And I wanted to ask you guys, what is the thing that you, you think actually can uh, improve the channel? What kind of content I should focus on to get more more views and more uh, subscriptions on this channel because actually really i'm planning to grow extreme trader more than that so the thing i noticed that the weekly analysis videos having the higher viewing rates however uh, the live trading videos and the deal of the day videos are not really that much of a views as well only the weekly analysis has the highest viewing rates meanwhile even the midweek analysis videos barely have 2.5 or 2000 views so please tell me your opinion about it. Tell me what you, what are your suggestions, uh, suggestions to uh, improve the channel and improve my content. Any advice is gonna be really appreciated, and I'm gonna actually read all your comments and consider each one of them. All right. So let's now begin with the weekly analysis, and of course, as usual, we will start with the euro USD. Now, the first thing we can notice in the euro USD that the pair is actually respecting the levels. And the pair is actually now moving on a, a strong upper trend or actually upper momentum or a bullish momentum, in other words. So the, what we can notice right here on the four hour time frame is the strong rejection we had right here on that support level. As we can see, the pair has made so many attempts to break out from the level uh, of support on 1.21357. Now, what we can notice here that this support has been holding for a long time. And then when the pair actually has made the bearish breakout from that level, the pair immediately has made one single attempt of a resistance 
and the pair actually has made that so that the support has become a resistance then immediately immediately directly without even making a second attempt of the resistance the pair has immediately bro broken out from that resistance meaning that support level is going to be respected again and the pair is going to actually revisit that that level again and hopefully this is exactly where we are going to start buying the pair and hopefully it's going to continue the rise not only that if we look at the the weekly chart let's go to the weekly chart so the weekly chart is is showing a strong bullish momentum as well we can see right here that we had this uh, long term resistance exactly right here on 1.20679 and i really don't want to delete these lines but however this resistance has been respected again and as we can see it has made one and two second attempt of the support that means that the pair most likely is going to actually continue the rise like that i think the euro usd is going to continue the rise until it hit 1.2550 that's going to be our target in the long run so therefore all in all we are looking this week for actually buying the euro usd so let me just see where we can actually start buying the pair uh, the euro usd should be good for the buy at the level 1.2 Two one three five seven. This is exactly where we will start buying the pair, and if we check that support level right here, exactly right here, so the safe zone should be ranging for almost forty-seven or fifty pips. I would say, uh, no more. Now keep in mind, my friends, that if the pair was actually let me just uh, remove this one. One second. So what I was going to say is, uh, if we notice right here, the support trend line that I have drawn here and the edge of the safe zone, the edge of the safe zone is not randomly there because as we can see, the support trend line is relying on this support attempts. And once we see the candle actually revisiting that support trend line again, we're expecting from the pair to continue the rise. However, the other scenario is that the pair actually might uh, succeed in the retest and the pair might continue the fall and if that happens most likely the direction of the trend is going to be is going to change because in that case we are going to have what seems like head and shoulders and most likely the pair is actually going to continue the fall so it's very important to see how the candle is going to react to that level of the support if you see a bearish breakout candle happening right from there then immediately you can exit your thread before it reaches the uh, the other edge of the safe zone However, if you see any sign of a price action of a momentum that the candle is actually going to continue the rise from that point, then you can keep your trade running. So it's very important to be careful about these details because they are actually important in our trades. So anyway, uh, for the target, I'm actually going to select that resistance on 1.22735. Uh, so we are actually aiming 135 pips uh, profit from this trade. Hopefully we will make them. 1.22735 is going to be our target for trading the euro usd so there goes your signal and i really hope it's going to be very profitable and we will make good profits using this signal let's now check the pound usd now for the pound usd as we can see the pair is actually moving also in a bullish momentum and if we look at the trend line you might be wondering why did i draw it like this it seems like i'm forcing the setup because the pair actually crossing the candles right here however if you move to the daily candles you can see that the support trend line is drawing is, has been drawn perfectly fine so in general the pound usd is actually moving in a really very strong uh, bullish momentum and seems like the pair is actually going to continue the rising so I really don't see the pair uh, gonna continue uh, sorry it's gonna fall at the moment it might fall only to retest again that support level where actually we are going to start buying the pair in general the pound usd is actually gonna continue the rise now what i really hate about the pound usd if you look at the chart just make a quick look at it you can see these ups and downs ups and downs always ups and downs ups and downs I mean, it's, it seems like whatever trade you open, you will either win really uh, a lot of pips or you will lose a lot of pips as well. So that is actually really one ugly market. When you see the pair actually moving like this, it doesn't really give you the picture that you are really seeking. For example, if you want to compare it with another uh, chart, look at the EURUSD. The EURUSD is actually very 
beautiful actually we can see that the pair has respected this uh, this, this resistance right here for example on 1.21765 it has respected this resistance right here it has respected this support right here as well so you can see that this chart is easier to read if you go to the pound usd it is yuck really it's so just confusing and so many levels hasn't been respected recently i mean it's just making trading the pound usd very confusing at the moment and of course we all know that the reason of this is the brexit uh, and uh, what are the commercial deals they are making right now so we have to be of course extra careful when we are trading trading the pound usd and pay attention to the news which which can actually be also unexpected so the general picture that i'm trying to reach is that the pound usd should be good for the buy right now actually the pair is uh, facing a strong uh, not a strong i would say a resistance uh, zone as you can see the candle has closed monday more uh, friday night as uh, what seems like a small pin bar but however the pair actually might continue the fall only re to retest that broken resistance level right here and eventually the pair is actually going to continue the rise therefore I would say that the pound USD should be good for the buy at 1.3644. Uh, and the safe zone should be ranging actually just a little bit below that support level right here. So the safe zone should be ranging for about 42 pips, I would say. Let's make it a little bit more just in case. Exactly. Um, 45 or 44 pips should be actually fair enough as a safe zone for the pound usd and the target is actually going to be a little bit above the resistance level so we are actually aiming about 92 pips profit from this trade so the target is going to be 1.37488 uh, again guys please be extra careful when you are trading the pound usd uh, please again if you see any strong bearish candle has appeared right here then don't open the trade and just wait some more time um, let me tell you something. The signal, as you, are, as you can see, is from the buy at the level of that previous resistance, which was also previously a resistance right here. However, if you really want to have really more perfect and good entry, then if you see here a strong bearish candle has appeared, then don't open the trade and just wait for the market to reach the other edge of the safe zone. Uh, at 1.36099 which was also right here a strong support in the past because if that happens we can we can actually have a better entry look at that check this out i have moved my support trend line like he, right here so we are having right here a support trend line support trend line number two and right here we can expect from the pair to fall a little bit more to the same level of the support right here and then gonna reverse um, all these chances or these sorry all these scenarios are very possible it depends on how the candle is going to be open right on the mo on monday morning after opening the markets so please pay attention to the pound usd i really advise you guys to um, think for a moment or uh, wait for a moment before you open the trade just wait to see how the market is reacting to the level if it's a, if it's a bullish uh, momentum or you see price action uh, indicating a bullish momentum then you can start buying the pair so there goes your signal for the pound usd and hopefully it's gonna be good signal and we will make good profits out of it let's now check the aud usd aud usd actually is easy to trade right now with this uh, obvious setup that we are actually waiting for the pair to reach that uh, support zone right here before we can actually start buying the pair and of course, we can see that we are actually also relying on the support trend line. Most likely, this is going to be our good point to start buying the AUD USD. So we have to wait for the pair to fall a little bit more before we start buying it. And actually, our target is going to be the peak of the resistance as 0.78195. That being said, AUD USD is good for the buy as 0.76860. And the safe zone should be actually ranging just a little bit more below that support level. So the safe zone should be ranging for, I would say, 45 pips, which is really fair, just like that. And of course, our target is going to be, as I said before, the peak of the resistance. Let's make it right here. So the target is actually going to be 100 
and 20 pips hopefully also gonna be a good profit so to take profit level 0.7042 hopefully also it will be a very good signal and we will make good profits out of it now usd cad unlike the other unlike what you have expected you maybe thought that i'm gonna short the usd cad uh, actually no uh, in this scenario i'm actually going to start to also buying the usd cad usd cad is not like the euro usd and aud usd and usd chf it's not like because you are buying uh, the euro usd what did i write the euro okay let me just make it shorter not because you are buying the euro usd it means that you also have to uh, sell the uh, uh, <clears throat> usd cad it doesn't work like this and i have to ex explain this in another video however what we can notice right here is usd cad is facing a strong support zone as we can see and the pair actually has made several attempts to break out from that support level and the first thing we can notice is that support is keeping its position no matter what happens because if we look here at this at this level 1.26898 focus on that level because it's very important that level of the support has here become a support as well then here a resistance and right here as well and here support and again support and a resistance and then the pair actually has made a strong bullish breakout from that support level then immediately broken out from that level and again making a bullish breakout then eventually last thing we can notice right here attempt of a support these two weeks right here cannot be underestimated these are actually going we are going to going to rely on this on these two weeks right here to identify or actually to tell that the rejection on breaking out from that on a bearish breakout from that level has been rejected or actually very strong therefore the support right here on 1.26896 is very strong and most likely the pair right now is facing also a resistance level what we are expecting now is from the pair to fall a little bit more to revisit again that uh, support level to create a support number two from that level we are going to start buying the usd cad therefore we have to wait for the pair to fall for another i would say 46 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy so usd cad good for the buy at 1.26898 right yep right and the safe zone should be ranging of course just a little bit below that support level i would say right here let me just increase this also exactly and there is no need for this so it's gonna be ranging just a little bit more i'm actually looking at the support right here and therefore yes that's fine it should be ranging for about 56 pips on uh, sorry 46 46 pips i think right yeah about 46 47 bips and the target of course is gonna be the peak of the resistance right here uh, my eyes was looking right here so that uh, resistance is gonna be our target if we started buying the usd cad so the target is actually 132 pips hopefully also will be a good profit so the take profit level 1.28244 hopefully it will work very well for us and bring us a lot of profits let's now look at the usd gpy so the first thing we can notice on the usd gpy that the pair is actually moving in a very strong bearish momentum as we can see the pair is not able to break out from that resistance trend line and in my opinion the pair is going to actually continue the fall all the way until it visits the support on 102.693 so we can expect from the from the usd gpy to fall for another 120 pips what happened recently is that the pair right now is facing this strong very strong resistance on 103.894 and we can see that the pair actually has revisited that level already so in my opinion i think the usd gpy at the opening on monday is going to continue the fall right away however and because i cannot give such a signal like this uh, i have to hope actually that the pair actually might reverse a little bit more for another 15 pips uh, to create a support oh, sorry a resistance number two on the very same level so we can actually start shorting it therefore we can actually start shorting the usd jpy right on 103.8 uh, sorry 894 
and of course the safe zone is going to be ranging a little bit above that resistance trend line because it means that the pair most likely has actually made the breakout and most likely is going to continue the rise if it is if it ever going to be able to reach that resistance so therefore the safe zone should be ranging for about 41 pips and i think there is no need to make it higher than that so there goes your safe zone just like this and of course the target is going to be as I, as I said before that the very bottom level of the support at 102.693 there goes your signal for the USDJPY and hopefully it will work very well for us and bring us lots of profits now looking at the USDCHF USDCHF is also going to be fall as I think uh, the bearish momentum is very strong and I believe the USDCHF is obviously going to continue the fall and what we can actually hope right now remember we are on the daily candles so most likely with this strong bearish momentum uh, we can expect from the USDCHF eventually to continue the fall all the way until it reached the bottom of the support at 0 0.87579 so going back to the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame we can notice that the USDCHF right now is actually on a support zone we can only hope that the pair actually gonna continue or sorry it made a, bear, a bullish reversal or a pullback just to revisit that strong resistance level on 0 0.8840 and right from that point we can actually continue the short uh, if i'm not mistaken also we can have right here like this a resistance trend line exactly like this and that's the reason i'm selecting that level to start shorting the pair most likely is going to actually continue reaching all the way to the resistance level and is going to hit the resistance trend line before it's going to be valid for the short and they're exactly where we are, we're going to start shorting the pair so USDCHF should be good for the short at 0 0.8840 and the, uh, the safe zone or the edge of the safe zone is going to be just a little bit above that resistance for the same reason of the USDGPY because if it actually made the breakout from the resistance right from here it means that it actually has made the, the uh, bullish breakout from the resistance trend line and if that uh, happens most likely the pair is going to continue the rise therefore this is the edge of the safe zone just like this for the USCCHF let me get rid of this one and the target as I said before is going to be exactly right here 0.87580 there goes your signal for the USCCHF and hopefully also it's going to be very good and profitable signal now let's look at the gold the gold as we can see my friends is facing a strong support zone as we can see right here just like that as you can see the gold is actually a, a very strong bullish momentum as the, I have already drawn here a previous resistance trend line and that resistance trend line has become already a support trend line the first thing we can notice, notice on the gold these two long tails what does these long tails indicate for anyone know the answer of course it indicates a strong bullish pressure or a pressure from the buyers the bulls actually are gonna take this market up and it seems like this support on 100 or 1880 is gonna actually hold the position and it seems like the gold is gonna be uh, good for the buy this week that is what i believe and if we notice right here also we are having a strong bear, uh, bullish momentum and the pair seems like it's gonna respect that level as well so also we can notice right here the strong bullish pin bar that pin bar cannot be ignored and most likely because the market has actually uh, showed this strong uh, uh, bullish engulfing candle the market seems like it's going to continue the rise so we are just hoping for another visit for that previous uh, support because uh, this is actually considered as a support number one and no actually no sorry because we already have here a support number one so this is right here a support number two so we are just hoping for the pair to revisit that support on 1850 before it's going to be valid for the buy that being said and uh, of course guys i don't have to remind you that we have to be extra very careful when we are trading the gold because it's very subjective to the news and the events or the announcements from the world le uh, leaders so gold is going to be good for the buy at 1850 
and the target this time is going to be that previous support level right here on 1900 that is exactly what i believe the gold is going to continue the rise eventually and we can start actually uh trade until it reaches that level on 1900 of course we have to be as i said before very careful so far the goods uh, the gold seems very good for the the uh the buy but however anything can happen uh, because i'm gonna post this uh, analysis on saturday night and anything can happen on sunday that might actually change the whole direction of the gold uh, anything might happen actually can also change the price of the dollar uh, of the usd dollar index so please guys be extra careful uh, remember always that this is only my technical analysis uh, regarding the fundamental analysis it's, it's really hard to do because it's the weekend and we are not sure how the market is going to react to any potential news coming that might change the whole direction of the market so please keep in mind always the uh, technical analysis might always be changed based on the news so in the end i really think th we are entering one great week and i believe it's going to be a very good week for everyone and hopefully we will make good profits out of it so in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching